So, I've been toiling over this for a while, um, and I wanted to introduce you to an idea that I was thinking of, um, and that is a comparison between Red Dead Redemption 2 and uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Now, I know Sony has been trying to make their own versions of popular games, such as Horizon Zero Dawn being sort of like um uh what do you call it um uh, the witcher type gameplay um slash um assassin's creed but there's nothing similar to red dead redemption red dead redemption is basically grand theft auto set in the west or wild 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 wild, wild west basically and um i really do think that they uh that that Ghost of Tsushima is basically going to be their, you know, um, their Red Dead Redemption. So, we know that Red Dead Redemption is basically going to be uh, released, what was it, October, I believe. And we have no release date for um, Ghost of Tsushima. So, by all extent and purposes, it's probably going to be released um, in 2019. So... Sometime in 2019. When? I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to be holiday either. We may get it in... Um, I don't want to say February, but it's, it's possible. February, March, April. First quarter. Um, so, I've studied Red Dead Redemption and everything that they have. I mean, they have a really comprehensive, a real comprehensive video um, online regarding Red Dead Redemption. Everybody has seen it. Um, and we know what to expect there. You got, uh, uh, horseback ride. You got different, uh, horses that will do different things, different, um, uh, stats for the horses. It also has like that little horse fear thing that's in the Witcher. So you can build up those particular stats so it won't get freaked out with a lot of sounds and gunfire and stuff like that. And obviously you have like the little, I think they call it a dead eye or I think it's dead eye where you go into slow motion and you basically target all your players or target all your enemies and shoot them all up, which is funny. It's similar to the, um, the Ghost of Tsushima video or the Ghost of Tsushima when he actually climbed into one of those little dojo areas and he drops down in stealth and everything slows down. He was able to target everybody. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um... Another thing that I saw that was in Red that that was in, uh, that was really cool was, you know, obviously you have your little card games and, and stuff like that. So you have a lot of extracurricular miscellaneous uh, things that you would basically be working on um, or, or playing with. Obviously, there's multiplayer as well where you can explore those particular options. And that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm looking at that as well. Um, one of the other things I did want to see uh, I mean I, I didn't notice too I think it's pretty cool what Red did is the interaction with the uh, characters in the game, the NPCs um, they mentioned that there's a lot of different um, options to talk to and interact with the NPCs and that's what I kind of worry about what goes to Tsushima um, and the infamous games you really couldn't interact with the uh, characters, um, the NPCs, you know what I mean? They moved out the way and stuff like that, but they didn't have like, you know, um, like a life, you know what I mean? Um, and I think Grand Theft Auto um, is a real, or, or I should say uh, uh, Rockstar is a real, really good at doing shit like that um, with the Grand Theft Autos and stuff like that. So it's like, how are they going to create that? There's one thing that Sucker Punch is really good at is making really um, uh, their the, the combat, not combat really, it's this reversal they're super, super good at, which they pretty much stop on at almost everybody when it comes to their stuff. Really cool things that they do. So we, we, we know that controls are, it's basically a non-issue when it comes to that. So we don't need to worry about that. It's just that how immersive um, it, it's going to be when it comes to NPCs and, and, and things like that. I don't know how um, how that's going to really pan out. I really don't know. Um, 
but there are some little hints too when it comes to Ghost of Tsushima. If you look at their first trailer, the one that they did their little debut in 2017, um, and what you notice is that you had the animals, the different um, uh, wildlife, um, the cranes and certain birds and fishes and stuff like that. But you, if you look at it, you also see that the NPCs would fish, um, they would collect harvest, you know what I mean? Um, and things like that. So I think that they're going to really nail that. At least they're going to nail that. And I, I think that's going to be really good too. Um, I don't know if they're going to have like, you know, little gameplay options where you play like little uh, J Japanese video or Japanese um, mini games, stuff like that. I don't think they're going to have that. Um, all in all, from what I can see, I see that Red Dead is it's more of the same. But with more immerse, immersion, I did see, I did, you know, kind of compare the two. Um, the first Red Dead and the second one, um, in terms of all the videos that they showed, or not all of them, but the more pertinent videos. And it's, it, it is more of the same like any other sequel would be, you know. Obviously, multiplayer is going to be a really big, really, really big part. So I think that's, that's going to be pretty cool um, with, with that. I don't know if I'm going to be picking it up, you know. Um... I don't really like their, their gameplay loop that they have going on. I, I don't like their controls either um, as of late. I mean, I think their game started to become like really, really sloppy in terms of control. I know that it's more realistic, but I, I felt like it's a lot of input delay that I wasn't really feeling. Um, I, didn't, I didn't like that. And it was just very slow and sluggish and stuff like that. Um, at the sake of trying to look realistic um, or having realistic animations for the flip-flops and stuff like that. But I will say, going back to interactions with NPCs and Ghost of Tsushima, um, if they can nail that, because they already got Traversal like, nailed, you know what I mean? They already got that down, down packed. If they can know the um, interactions um, between, with the environments and the NPCs, I think that they've got a hit on their hands. I think it's basically Sony's Red Dead. Um, so I think that they're going to do really well. I know they're going to do really well. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's different. Um, and it still follows, uh, uh, it still has the same flavor of open world games. Um, I, just, I just know they're going to like smash that shit out the park. Um, most people really don't pay attention or haven't paid attention to this either that Sucker Punch made really good stealth games when it came to um, uh, the Sly Cooper games so that's one of the things that they were really um, good at and you have like this grappling hook and stuff like that I just feel like at least the enemy AI is gonna be really nice I just want a lot more immersion when it comes to um, AI, um, and that's something that I have like a little fetish for anyway. Is the is the AI um, anyway? Um, and that was one of my problems with Sony's exclusives. Um, you know, you got you got Uncharted that, that kind of suffered from AI, and you know, you had like these huge crowds of people, and it, you couldn't really interact with them. It was very scripted. Horizon Zero Dawn's AI was kind of hampered by their storyline, you know what I mean? Uh, the machine, all the machines were kind of like tied to like this hive mind, which kind of sucked. I get it for storyline purposes, you know what I mean? But it just was one of those things where it was like, damn, I wish it could have been more, a little bit more to it. Um, <clears throat> so I, I feel like that's one area that they need to work on, um, uh, uh, Sony. I, I don't think that they have a game where you had like an interactive, you know, immersive, you know, crowd AI, where it's like, basically it's friendly. So I don't, I don't feel like they nailed that really. Um, and I think this game may be it. You know what I mean? I've seen the fishing and all this other stuff. That's pretty cool. Hopefully you can say hi to them, wave to them, interact with them, not just, you know, press a prompt to make them talk and stuff like that. I feel like that'd be pretty lame. So as long as they got that going on, I think that that'd be pretty cool. Um... I feel like they're gonna. I feel like they're gonna knock out of the park, um, and I feel like it's gonna be a really, really big contender. I, if anything, I feel like Red Dead is gonna spark that kind of like open world 
um, they're going to spark that open world world feel. You know what I mean? That's that's that, that's what I'm really noticing. I feel like that's what's going to happen. So after everyone beats goes uh, Red Dead Redemption Two, they're probably going to be still thirsty for that type of gameplay, and then. So when they get the best of both worlds, where you have like this Japanese setting that's really, really beautiful. Um, we we haven't had like a, a Tenchu type game either. So this looks to satiate the needs, uh, the fans needs for a Tenchu game. It, and and the combat I heard that's gonna be really good with Ghost of Tsushima. So it's gonna be a hit to hit clash. I know it's gonna be good. I know it's gonna be good. But that's really all I have for now. I'm sorry for the video kind of being put together kind of in, in a hasty um, means, but I, you know, I'm getting better at it and stuff like that. I, I slept all day. I wasn't really feeling well. Um, headache really, just really tired. And, um, it was just rained all day. It was a nasty, nasty day today. And, um, it was just one of those days you just stayed in, but I would love for you guys to, uh, sub to my channel. Uh, it's really nice if you would sub and make it a little bigger than what it is. Uh, but only sub really if you like the content honestly and if you liked it um partially but had some disagreements with it let me know in the comments you know let me know what i'm doing wrong let me know what i'm doing right whether you subscribe or not so i can better the channel and look stay tuned and don't forget this is the gaming pulpit where i beat the briefing that ass